But Poseidon is like chlamydia. He's a bitch. And he's like, well, I'm just gonna fuck with him. And he and he like made the water push uh, Odysseus' ship into an island. An island called the Island of the Cyclops. And just as the name states, it's filled with Cyclopses. Now, the Cyclopses... Oh, uh, this is where the Odyssey begins. Uh, the Cyclopses are the sons of Poseidon. Uh, Poseidon, like, nailed someone, and they all came out with, like, one eye or something. And he was like, oh, I love you, but you're kind of ugly, so you get to be on this island, and we get to visit you every, like, month or so. And, like, but daddy, we love you. Like, I, I know, I know, but just, you live on there. And they they live in exile, in, like, caves and stuff like that. So Odysseus, like, okay. Odysseus, like, got his ship sucked up in there, and the men were like, Oh man, this sucks. Our boat has like this hole in it, and like we're stuck on this island where like everything's huge and shit. And uh, Odysseus, what do we do? Odysseus, the great thinker, was looking around and said, "There's a storm coming. Let us take shelter in that cave." And so they went into the cave, unaware of the fate that beholds them. When they entered the cave. They saw the giant Cyclops sleeping in his den and were freaking out. One of them probably screamed and woke and woke up the guy and was like the the giant was like the Cyclops giant was like Who are you? And why do you disturb my sleep, puny little ones? And Odysseus the quit thinker thought of a brilliant way and made him his men bring in all the wine that they had and said I am a messenger of the gods I bear with you the nectar of the gods this will make you immortal drink up it was like wine and like the equivalent of that would be like beer filled with roofies anyway um so the cyclops is like god's juice you say I shall try this and he, he drinks a cup, he's like, THIS IS AMAZING! THIS IS THE MOST AMAZING DRINK I'VE EVER HAD IN MY LIFE! BRING ME MORE! And so after hours of him guzzling wine, he passes out, and Achilles, er, not Achilles, uh, Odysseus was like, Okay, men, now's the time. We shall blind him. For some reason. Unbeknownst to me. And then he was like, okay, and so they got they got the stick and started sharpening it and stuff like that, and then they carried it onto a rock, and then they just swung it down, and right before it hit the eye, the Cyclops was like, whoa, and opened its eye, and then it was like, ah, my eye, and he was like, why did you do that, man, I don't know, and this was clever, Odysseus said, my name is Nobody, tell your father, Poseidon, that nobody blinded you. And the Cyclops ran out of the cave and like, Father! Nobody blinded me! Ugh! And then Poseidon came out of the sea and was like, Son, have you been drinking? Like, No! Nobody blinded me! Son, you're drunk, okay? Stop wasting my time. This is why I put you on this island in the first place, okay? So, just calm the fuck down. I'm gonna go watch the water break or something. And Poseidon disappeared. And Odysseus and his men escaped off the bottoms of sheep, so, like, the giant couldn't, like, crush them. Or something like that. And they managed to get their boat offshore and into the ocean. But there were still many perils ahead for Odysseus and his men. And I shall tell you more of their tales another time.